there is no denying the overall excellence of the 2017 Honda Civic C. There just isn't. Adopting as it has the boldly styled forms of Honda's 10th generation Civic sedan and coupe, the new C starts out with a darn good foundation. And none of the C additions, a 205 horsepower turbocharged 1.5 liter engine, a short throw shifter for the 6 speed manual gearbox, a helical gear limited slip differential, 18 inch wheels, and a healthy list of interior and exterior upgrades that are fully detailed here, are going to muck things up. Thing is, this is the 8th Civic offered in C form and those sold between the mid-1980s and the mid-2000s were remarkably charismatic. The previous two C models, though, were relative duds, as there is only so much allure Honda could engineer into the lackluster Civics on which they were based. Now that the base Civic is back in our good graces, how much of the C's former sparkle has been restored? And how will the new C coupes and sedans fit into an expanded Civic range that will soon include the Rips Norton Civic Type R in all of its 306 horsepower hatchback glory? These are some of the questions we couldn't answer until we'd driven the Civic C, preferably on a track, which we've now done. There is no denying the overall excellence of the 2017 Honda Civic C. There just isn't. Adopting as it has the boldly styled forms of Honda's 10th generation Civic sedan and coupe, the new C starts out with a darn good foundation. And none of the C additions, a 205 horsepower turbocharged 1.5 liter engine, a short throw shifter for the 6 speed manual gearbox, a helical gear limited slip differential, 18 inch wheels, and a healthy list of interior and exterior upgrades that are fully detailed here are going to muck things up. Thing is, this is the 8th Civic offered in C form, and those sold between the mid-1980s and the mid-2000s were remarkably charismatic. The previous two C models